Hey guys, so today I'm going to be embellishing some coffin treat boxes that I picked up from Michael's. I have hauled these before. This here is the packaging that it comes in. It comes with 48 pieces and I'm going to be making four of them for you guys today. And these are the coffins all built together just so that way it doesn't take too much time. And in each coffin I've already put in all the embellishments that I wanted to use just so the video won't be too dark be too long um those there that i just showed you with the quotes on them i just hand wrote a couple quotes um, for some liners and you'll see what i'll do with those later on these are some other embellishments that i'll be using today so the first one i'm going to make is a mummy themed coffin and i'm going to be using this gauze ribbon that i picked up from the dollar one spot at Target and I'm going to use some red line tape at first but then I choose to go to my hot glue gun of course and that's just as good um, you don't see the glue through the gauze but um, you will have a couple strings which it really didn't bother me because it seemed or it looked like real cobweb so I loved that kind of look um, so what I'm going to do is place her little eyeballs on so that way I can go ahead and work around it with the gauze ribbon. So this is how she looks with all the gauze and then just cutting off the excess. Then I'm going to go ahead and include a bow just so that way you know that it, um, she is a girl. And I'm actually making these for my co-workers so I have um, four treat boxes and then I'm going to have a couple bags as well that I hope I can do a process video on. But here I'm re I used my crocodile, I believe, yeah, to punch a hole and I'm using a brad to attach one of these tassels. And I just used those tassels that I got from the 150 spot at Michael's and some jump rings and created a little keychain. Nothing special. For the second coffin, I am using some black rhinestones and those I'm going to attach all around the coffin. As you can tell, I prepped it so I've already cut the length that I need for it to fit all around. And these rhinestones I got from the Target One spot. It was a, a part of the washi tape collection and it was some rhinestone washi. They are two rows, um, what I did was I cut those in half, so that way they would be single sided. And then, I am going to use that cheesecloth as um, some texture, I guess you can say. Um, and these are some Prima flowers that I've had in my stash for forever and they weren't actually black, they were pink. I just used some um, spray paint and spray painted it. And then this frame and the skull actually came with these coffins. So you get some glittered frames and some skulls. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bow just to go ahead and make it more girly because my coworkers are all women. So it makes it look more girly. So for this one, I made a couple rosettes off screen, as you can see there, with some cupcake liners. That there was two stamp sets, as you can see, and then I just fussy cut them and put them together. So as you can tell, I prepped a lot for this project. Um, it would have taken way longer if I didn't know what to do. But I feel like it just, editing takes a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and just prep myself for videos now, especially for the holiday projects. So that's what I've been doing. As you can tell, if you look at my nails, um, they start to change color, and that's because I get my nails done every two weeks. So within that time, I usually do a video. If I'm lucky, I'll do about two or three in a row. So... Yeah, so that's why, that's how you know that my videos are recorded at different times. Um, this here has been sitting in my um, folder for a while now. But anyways, I did skip through that whole process there, but I hope you guys saw it. Um, so for this one, I made a little rosette lollipop, and I used a scallop uh, 
um, border punch to go ahead and just give this a little scallop edge and it has little heart punch outs as well so it has a little hearts on them and here is a little ghost that I used um, with a punch that I hauled for my Tuesday morning haul and I just put some googly eyes and used um, I forgot which marker is they're kind of like Copics but they're not Copics and I just used a gray one to go ahead and give it some color and then okay so I finished with the four boxes now I'm just gonna add some more embellishments like these confetti um, spiders which I picked up from Walmart I love these things that give they make it look so much more creepy I'm um, not a huge fan of spiders, so I thought it'd be really fun to go ahead and add these on there because they are 3D. So I'm using my hot glue gun to go ahead and adhere those on so you'll see that. I also have a bunch of pictures at the end of the video, so if you want to go ahead and just um, go ahead and see the pictures, you most definitely can. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stop talking now because this is basically all that I'm doing. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!